Welcome to the National Weather Service in Spokane, Washington's weekly weather briefing. My name is Steve Bodner and we will cover the expected weather for the upcoming week Tuesday, December 25th through Monday, December 31st, 2012. Since the forecast is subject to change, please do not use this presentation after Tuesday, January 1st at 6 a.m. Looking at the week ahead, the snow showers across the southeast will come to an end this evening, with areas of dense fog the main concern overnight. Another round of snow moves into the region on Christmas Day. Areas of snow Tuesday night will transition to light hit or miss snow showers on Wednesday and Wednesday night, and linger across a good portion of the southeastern Washington and lower Idaho panhandle. Relatively speaking, rather quiet weather conditions will return for Thursday and Friday, with some flurries or light snow showers over some of the area. The next potentially significant storm system will arrive Friday night through Sunday. There is considerable uncertainty on the timing and amounts with this storm, so stay tuned for further updates. A ridge of high pressure looks to build in by the start of next week, shielding the region from the active winter, winter weather. This graphic illustrates weather conditions for the remainder of this evening. Light snow will continue across portions of southeastern Washington, Idaho Panhandle through the af late afternoon and into the evening with an additional 1 to 2 inches, mainly above 1,500 feet. Snow that fell overnight will continue to bring wintry travel conditions across much of the region. Bitterly cold temperatures will be possible tonight, however, there is uncertainty whether or not fog will settle in before the cold temperatures. To check the latest mountain pass conditions, call 511 or check the DOT's respected websites. This graphic shows the snow reports received by the National Weather Service for the observers across the inland northwest over the last 24 hours. Um, widespread 5 to 7 inches was noted along the Palouse, Central Panhandle Mountains, uh, up into the West Plains, and primarily above elevations of 2,000 feet and higher. Below that, snowfall was generally between 2 and 5 inches. Our next snow event is expected on Christmas Day. Snow will develop along the east slopes between 5 and 10 a.m. and persist through much of the day. Very little snow will fall across the eastern third of Washington and northern Idaho until Tuesday evening in the overnight periods. The storm system will weaken considerably while crossing inland, so amounts will generally be less than 2 inches for most locations near Idaho. Closer to the Blue Mountains and Camas Prairie, the threat for accumulating snow will actually be better by the real late Tuesday night into Wednesday. A closer look at where the heaviest snow is expected on Christmas Day shows the potential for 5 to 8 inches for the east slopes of the Cascades and 2 to 5 inches for the western Columbia Basin, Wenatchee area, Okanagan Valley, and Waterville Plateau. Breezy easterly winds are expected to accompany the storm system on Christmas Day. This is the wind forecast from a high-resolution model near Dry Creek, which is lo located about 3,600 feet uh, in the east slopes, close to where ongoing problems are with uh, downed trees from snow. Wind gusts could be upwards of 15 to 30 miles an hour. This could help shake off some of the snow in the problem spots between Plain and Stevens Pass and near Lake Wenatchee. However, if the snow does not fall off, the wind could actually help to lead to more downed trees. The storm system on Tuesday will weaken considerably upon crossing into the region, but the moisture and potential for small-scale disturbances will linger across southeastern Washington and the lower Idaho panhandle for much of Wednesday and Wednesday night. This is where we find the best chance for the light snow accumulations, indicated by the white shading. Any accumulations will come from more of a persistent or slow-moving snow shower, and accumulations will generally range under these potentially up to 2 or if not 4 inches. Elsewhere, we're not expecting much in the way of accumulations with any activity. Following the potential for one more snow event Friday night into the weekend, looks like high pressure is going to build in uh, for the beginning of next week. This will shield the inland northwest from the active winter storm track that we've been exposed to, leading to drier conditions. Despite the dry conditions, this pattern will likely set the stage for widespread fog, low clouds, and cold to cool seasonal temperatures. The 8 to 14 day outlook valid from December 31st through January 6th is pretty representative of that ridge of high pressure shown on the previous slide. This favors the near to below normal probabilities for below normal temperatures and higher probability for below normal precipitation. 
In summary, another round of light to moderate snow will move into the region Christmas Day, with the heaviest snow amounts expected across the east slopes and into the western basin. Light snow will spread into the remainder of the region Tuesday evening and overnight, with snow showers continuing for portions of southeast, southeastern Washington and the lower Idaho Panhandle on Wednesday. The next potential for significant snow accumulations will arrive sometime in the Friday night through Sunday period. There is a lot of uncertainty with this storm, especially timing and amounts. There is an increasing potential for high pressure to return next week, which will shield the area from the stormy weather and promote a period of seasonal temperatures, dry conditions, and abundance of fog. Air quality will have the potential to worsen in this pattern as well. Please continue to monitor the forecast for the most up-to-date weather. Stay informed with information from us. You can try weather.gov slash Spokane where you can view our weather story and look at various products like the Hazardous Weather Outlook and any other winter weather products. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and listen to No Radio. Thank you. Happy Holidays.